Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so you tell our mom? Oh, but I, I will. Jody will be so excited when she hears about this. She loves to sing, and she sure can use some improvement. Not to be mean or anything. I know. I know what you mean. You think she's capable of doing better. Yes, and she'll be not in, and she's missed you since you've gone to college. She'll be so happy that you want to um, take her in for an in, that you're interning for a music teacher or to teach her how to sing better. And then, and you'll be taking lessons too. Yes. Okay. Well, Mom, I'm home. Oh, she just walked in. Um, I'll call you later, okay, honey? Okay, Mom. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Ugh. Why do I always do that? Mom, I'm home from school. Hi, Jody, honey. Hi, Mom. Sit down. I made you a smoothie. You made me a smoothie? You never make me a smoothie. Who died? Very funny. Sit down. Nobody died, honey. I, I just have some good news for you. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? Sit down and drink your smoothie and I'll tell you. Okay. So, honey, guess who I got off the phone with? If it was my teacher, I could totally explain that. I didn't mean to feed the french fry to the guinea pig. It just fell out of my hand. No, honey, not about that. We'll talk about that later. No, honey, I got off the phone with, with Heidi. My sister? Yes, your sister. Who else would I be talking about? Oh. How is she doing? She's doing great. In fact, um, she just got an intern to be a music teacher, and she wanted you to be her first project. What do you mean, her first project? What I mean is that she wants to teach you how to sing better. You know, like she want, and there will be a professional music teacher Observing you. Why does she want to teach me? Doesn't she think I'm talented? Honey, you know we both think you're very talented. It's just, that's why we want to give you singing lessons, too. Because we know you're capable of doing even better. Well, sure, I, I, I'd like that. When do I start? Well, I have to call your sister to confirm that you want to do it. But she said that if you do... That if you did, then probably in a couple days. So I'll be taking singing lessons? Will I get to perform? Mm-hmm. Yes, like at the end of her um, term. At the end of your term, you will um, get to sing in a recital, and that's how she'll be graded. Wow, Mom, this sounds like a lot of pressure. I know, honey, but I know you can do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Great, honey. I'm going to call your sister. Why don't you go and get started in your homework now? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't have any homework, so... I'm going to call Carrie. Where's my phone? Okay, time to call Carrie. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Carrie. It's Jody. Hey, what's up? Um, well, guess what? I'm going to be starting taking singing lessons. Really? I thought you folks couldn't afford anything like that. They can afford it. But anyway, that doesn't matter anyway because I'm taking them for free. Who would give you free singing lessons? My sister's got to teach me. You know, the one I went away to college. I know it's just you and me to only have one sister. Why are you in such a bad mood? I'm sorry. I I'm just tired. So, when do you start? Well, my, my, my mom has to call my sister and, um, to confirm that I want to do it. But she said probably in a couple of days. Is your sister taking lessons too? 
sort of. It's like an internship. My sister's in co- my sister's in college to become a music teacher, so she got an intern job of teaching singing. So she's gonna teach me, and then there's gonna be a real singing teacher watching her do it. Really? Yeah. And then at the end of the term, I'm gonna sing in a recital. Carrie, are you there? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. It's just, aren't you nervous? What would I be nervous about? I mean, your sister, she's not going to teach you as if she's your sister. She's going to teach you as a teacher. Yeah, so? That'd be great. I'll know what I need to work on. But what if, she, what if it affects you for friendship with her? What are you talking about, Carrie? I know that when my sister Brooke went to college to be a science teacher and she tried to teach me science, she got all teacherly like. Yeah, and that's a bad thing? Yeah, because she was criticizing me. Look, just because Brooke criticized you doesn't mean that my sister's going to criticize me. Besides, you and Brooke never got along very well. And your mom had to force you to let Brooke help you. Well, that's true. Maybe it won't happen with the sister. It won't. And by the way, thanks a lot for discouraging me. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I just... I just want you to understand what you're getting into. Well, obviously, you don't understand what I'm getting into because it'll be fine, okay? All right. Look, I have homework to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, bye. I'm going to start my homework. Okay, um, Jody. Now, here's a song you're going to be singing for the recital. Where is love? I'm going to be singing Where is love at the recital? That's kind of a hard song for me to sing. I know you can do it. I guess. But I'm nervous. You got to encourage her, Heidi. I know, Mrs. Doty. I will. Look. You're going to do fine, okay? Okay. So go ahead. I'll play the song on the piano. And you sight read. Sight read? Are you kidding? You can do it. And if you make a mistake, I'll stop you and help you fix it. Oh, that's comforting. Just do it. Why did you have to give me such a hard song to sing? Just try it. Just try it. You don't want your sister to fail, do you? No, ma'am. Okay. Where is love? Does it fall from sky? Okay, stop there. Sing it with from your heart. My heart? I thought I was supposed to sing from my diaphragm. Well, you're not even doing that. What I mean is sing it with feeling. Don't worry about how other... Don't worry about how you're going to sound. Just do the best you can. Take it seriously. I am taking it seriously. This is just a hard song to sing. Just try it again. Louder. Ugh. Do you have to correct everything I'm doing? Yes, it's part of my job to do that. You know what? I know we've only had less than four weeks, but all you've been doing is bossing me around. Look, I'm going to teach you. I'm supposed to be helping you. Well, you're not helping me. All you're doing is making me a nervous wreck. Oh, come on. You're over-exaggerating. Come on. Let's do this. No, forget it. I quit. You can't quit. What about my grade? I can't care less about your grade. I like you. Why don't you stop being my teacher and start being my sister again? Uh, Miss Doty, a little help? I'm only here to supervise. Well, then supervise me. Help me with her. Please don't make her teach me. She could, she could criticize someone else. I'm not criticizing her. I'm just trying to help you. I quit. I'm calling mom and having her pick me up. But Jody, I'm just trying to help you become a better singer. 
I don't need you to be help me become a better singer. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I don't like being criticized, especially about my sister. But I'm not criticizing you. Come on, let's let's work on it. No, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm going. I'm gonna go outside, get my stuff, and call my mom. Call mom and tell her to pick me up. I can't do this anymore. You always, you were always better than me at everything. Ever since we were kids, you are a kid. Be quiet. You know what I meant. Listen, Jody. Don't get so frustrated. You'll get it. No, I give up. I quit. I'm sorry, Miss Doty. I don't know what I did wrong. It's okay. A lot of my students get kids like that. She's just very stubborn. No, she's not. She's my sister, and she's not usually like this. I think there's something else bothering her. Well, it's your turn to. If it's your job to teach her, not to comfort her. No. Listen, maybe I'm just not meant to be a music teacher. Maybe I should just consider, reconsider changing my major. No, don't do that. You're good. If I'm good, then why did she quit? My own sister doesn't even want me to teach. Sometimes it's hard to teach people in your family. Well, I wish you would have warned me about that before I taught her. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, but I, I can't do this anymore. Oh, they always quit. <laughs> Jody, how was your singing lesson? Terrible. I quit. You quit? Why? Because I'm tired of Heidi thinking she's better than me. What are you talking about? Forget it. You'll never understand. I quit. I'm not going back there. But honey, I thought you loved to sing. I do. I just don't want Heidi as my teacher. Ever since we were growing up, she's always done things bigger and better than me. There's nothing you can say or do to change that. Right? See? I quit. Man. Hi, Mom. Do you want to tell me what's going, what happened between you and your sister? Mom, I told you what happened. She's always going to be better than me at everything. So what's the point in trying to be even half as good as she is? I want to know what's really bothering you. Come on, put that thing away and tell me what's bothering you. But I have emails to... Jody. Now tell me what's bothering you. The truth. I just feel threatened by Heidi. What do you mean? Did she... Was she mean to you? Well, at first I thought she was... But, I don't know, she just corrected me all the time. Honey, that's what teachers do when you make a mistake. Especially when you are when you have a teacher that's involved in performing. She's not against you, honey. Is that what's really bothering you? I'm also scared. Well, what are you scared about? I'm afraid of... When the recital comes, I'm going to do bad, and then she'll get a bad grade, and it'll be all my fault. And then you'll be disappointed. Honey, I would never be disappointed in you for trying your best and doing the best you can do. What you're doing is brave. But quitting, do you really think that's the answer to your problem? No, but it's the only way I can escape these feelings. I don't want to sing anymore. I don't believe that, Jody. I don't believe it for a second. I know you want to sing. No, I don't. I'll just be a nobody my whole life. I mean, just because Heidi's smart enough to go to college doesn't mean I'm smart enough. 
And because of that, you're going to be ashamed of me. Honey, no, I am not. And you know that. Whether or not you go to college or not, that's not based. My love isn't based on that. And you know that. I love you because you're you. And I love you for your personality. Oh, my personality. That's great. I'm ugly, aren't I? Honey, you're not letting, you're not giving me a chance to talk. I'm sorry, Mom. Go ahead. I love you, no matter what. I can't force you to go back into singing lessons. That has to be up to you to decide. But if you like singing the way you say you do, then I know you make the right choice. But what is the right choice? It's up to you to decide. You have to know what works for you. You get some rest now. Good night, Mom. Good night. Where am I? And what am I wearing? I hate wearing gray. I look ugly in gray. Ugh, and I'm so cold. What am I doing out here on the street? Where am I? I want to go home. I know that person from somewhere. Heidi? Hello? Heidi, what am I doing out here? Ugh, your mind's slipping again. What's the matter, malnutrition? Well, come to think of it, I am pretty hungry and thirsty. Do you have any food? I tried to make you into something. What? What are you talking about? I mean that I tried to make you a better singer, but you quit and you stopped doing things and then mom had to throw you out because you, you're 26 now and I'm 26? When I went to bed, I was 10. <sighs> yeah, well, you're 26 now. You have no job. You have no life. Can I move in with you? I'll let you say, I'll let you teach me how to sing again. No, you said I, qu you quit. You said you quit. You don't want to sing anymore. You said I was too mean. I was a kid then. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, I can't teach you to sing. Besides, I have better students, and I have better things to do than to waste time with a loser like you. But you're my sister. You're supposed to love me. Well, I don't. How can you love somebody who is being mean to you ever just because they're just trying to help? You, you did this to yourself. Now, I gotta go. I have students to teach. I teach people on Broadway now. Can you teach me, please? I'll even pay you. How are you going to do that if you don't have a job? I'll do odd jobs for you and pay for it. No, that's not enough. I'm not going to waste time on you when I have people who could afford it for me to teach them. Call me sometime. But I don't have a phone. I don't even have electricity. Oh, my gosh. Why did I have to quit singing? <laughs> I did this to myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the most frightening dream I have ever had in my life. I can't, can't end up like that. Maybe I was too hard on Heidi. Maybe it's not too late to, to go back to singing. I don't know how I'm going to get all this work done tomorrow. Mom? Jody, honey, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I need to talk to you. What is it, honey? I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I realize I don't want to give up singing. I love it too much to give it up. I was just jealous of my of Heidi, and I took it down on her. 
Honey, there's nothing you need to be jealous of. Yes, there is. Even when we were in school, everybody's been... Even after Heidi graduated... Elementary school and everything, like... Every time I had one of Heidi's old teachers, they say, Wow, we hope you'll like he you'll be like Heidi, and I'm not, and I wind up disappointing them. That's what was really bothering me. It had nothing to do with wanting to quit singing. I knew there was something else bothering you. Mom, can, can we call Heidi? Well, honey, it's after 11. I don't think... Please, Mom, it's really important. I want to apologize to her and tell her that I want to continue singing with her. That is if she'll let me. Well, there's the phone. You know the number. Thanks, Mom. But I think I'll call her from my room on my cell phone. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Aw, oh, honey, for what? For believing in me. And I'm going to say the same thing to Heidi. Go on and make your phone call before it's too late. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. 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 Come on, Heidi, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Mm. Hello? Uh, hi, Heidi, it's Jody. Hello? Look, I know you're mad at me. I just called to say I was really sorry about what happened earlier today. I'm sorry, too. What are you sorry for? I'm the one that got all jealous and stupid. <sighs> yeah, I know, but, you know, I should have explained to you more better that I was just trying to help you. Yeah, but I should have realized you are trying to help me. I was just afraid that, to be honest, I was afraid of disappointing you. Everybody was always comparing me to you, and I'm afraid, I was afraid that if I wasn't like you, then I wouldn't get anywhere in life, and that's what was really bothering me. You know that I only teach you how to sing because you love to sing, and I know you're capable of doing great things. Yeah, I realize that now, and I appreciate that. That's what, I'm, that's what Mom's been trying to tell me, too. I know it's really late in the night time, but do you think starting next week I can go back to taking lessons from you? If your teacher will let you? You know, my teacher was going to assign me someone else, but I told her that I wanted to wait, so I don't think it'll be a problem. But are you sure you want me to teach you? Yeah, I just got caught up in being stupid and jealous, and I'm sorry. Well, I accept your apology. Now, I hate to cut you off, but it's pretty late. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to call you. I couldn't wait until tomorrow. So, do you accept my apology? I accept your apology. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you next week. Okay. Good night, sis. Good night. <sighs> okay. Better turn the light off. <sighs> Now I'll sleep much better knowing that that's taken care of.